Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this ponytail um, on short hair with better length extensions. Now these extensions are formulated for African American hair. They are clip-in extensions um, to match relaxed or straightened natural hair. And I like these clip-ins. They're pretty soft and um, they didn't shed or tangle on me. So I really like that. So it's basically going to be the same as putting in clip-ins the normal way, except the first two clip-ins I'm going to put in at the bottom, I'm clipping up upside down so that it's easy for the clip-ins to be put in a ponytail without a bulge or uh, kind of like a bump underneath. And then you're gonna clip in all the rest of the hair the way I normally would. And I have two other in-depth clip-in tutorials showing you how I do that. But you just fill in the hair where you need more fullness. And I'm going to make a part to do my swoop bang. And here I've just made a part pretty close to my forehead so that I can lay a track. Um, across the front so that that hair can swoop in front of my face. And the only reason I'm filling this in is because my hair is short in the front. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda stole this hairstyle from Rihanna. It's basically just a plain ponytail with a swoop bang, but um, I wanted to do a ponytail because sometimes I want my hair to be in a ponytail, but I can't do that with like a wig or something because I don't have that much hair in the back. So I figured clip-ins would work a lot better for this. So all I have to do is just make sure that my hair is uh, slicked down. There's nothing sticking out. So I use a lot of bobby pins. This is for all my people whose hair doesn't reach the ponytail length requirement in the back. You know what I'm saying? So I use my formation spritz by Design Essentials to kind of help the hairs stay down just in case there's any stray short hairs or flyaways. Now you can wrap a piece of hair around the band if you want it to be more elegant looking like if you're going to a holiday party or something like that. You can just take a piece of hair from underneath and wrap it around and bobby pin it down. It's really really simple. It's kind of difficult to do uh, because you'd have to make sure that you strategically bobby pin it so that it stays. Yeah, just so you guys get the gist, that's what I was trying to do. Tried to do it on a different day. As you can see, my makeup's different. But it's completely up to you. You don't have to do it, it's optional. Just looks a little more neat. So I know that this was a quick and pretty simple tutorial, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it and you learned something, just in case you were looking for different ways to switch your hair up for the holidays. So if you want more information about better length extensions, be sure to check the description box because I'll probably have a coupon code in there. So check that out. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.